click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous topic we have discussed about the Bose theory of atom as well as limitation. And now in this topic let me talk about the concept of shell, subshell and the orbitals. So what are those? Let's start with this one. So friends, as we have discussed about the Bose theory of atom and we have got to know that is a particular atom is composed of the nucleus as well as the electrons that are revolving around it. But the electrons that are revolving around it, they have a specific distance from that of the nucleus that makes to a concept known as shell. So here let me explain it with the help of a diagram over here. Suppose if we consider the structure of an atom and here basically we have the nucleus in the center. Obviously we could find that is the electrons are revolving around it but with a specific distance and that is nothing known as shell. So here this is the first one that is we could name it as K shell. Then the L which is nothing but the second shell then M N O P. So here basically the K is nothing but the principal shell or the principal quantum number of this shell is basically 1. For this it is 2. 3, 4 and so on and talking about the energy of this shell as we understood in the previous topic regarding the Bose atomic theory we have got to know that is as the number of shell increases the shell which is very far away from the nucleus will have more energy so here basically we could conclude that the K shell has less energy compared to that of the L shell so here basically the first and the second here basically we have did a comparison but still there are many shells as well as subshells also. So what is subshell? Let me talk about that. So friends, talking about subshell, subshell is nothing but it is a part of a shell and every shell has subshell. For example, there are four types of subshells that is subshell S, P, D and F. So here let me explain you. Suppose if you are talking about the first shell. That is the principal quantum number of this one is nothing but it is 1. That is n is equals to 1. So here basically the first shell it will have one subshell that is found to be S1S. And this one it stands for the principal quantum number that is 1. So talking about the second. The second shell consists of two subshells that is here I will name it as 2S and 2P. That is it consists of two subshells that is S subshell and P subshell. So this two it indicates that is this subshell that is this S subshell and the P subshell they both are belonging to the second shell that is the L shell. And talking about the next one that is we have the third shell that is we have the third shell. So here basically the subshells it will be 3S, 3P, 3D. So here that is there are three subshells in the third shell that are designated as 3S, 3P and 3D. So the subshell it will go on increasing as the number of shell also increases. So here basically in the fourth shell we could get four that is subshell that is S, P, D and F also. So talking about the fifth one again we would get that it's five subshells that is S, P, D, F, G. So therefore this is how basically we have discussed about the subshells and we have concluded here that is a shell is composed of subshells also. And now let us talk about what are orbitals. So as we have discussed about the shell and the subshell so let us talk about the orbital. So we have discussed that is the shell consists of subshell and now the subshell consists of the orbitals. So this could be explained with the help of the azimuthal theory and that is what we have here. That is, since we have discussed about the subshell, we have got to know that is the first shell, it consists of only one subshell that is S. The second one is consists of S as well as P subshell. The third one it consists of S, P, D and the fourth consists of S, P, D and F subshell. So this subshell also consists of the orbitals and the orbitals are the one where we could easily predict the electrons present in that. For example, the S it consists of 
only one orbital p consists of three orbital d consists of five and f consists of seven orbital so this could be explained with the help of the azimuthal number and for that s has an azimuthal number that is zero and azimuthal number is denoted by l p has azimuthal number one d has two and f has three so how many orbitals are present in the s subshell this could be easily explained with the help of the magnetic number also but for that the relation between the azimuthal number and the magnetic number is so here basically magnetic number is nothing but it is denoted by m and it has a formula that is 2l plus 1 so here basically we could say for s subshell since the value of l is 0 so therefore the m will be nothing but 2 into 0 plus 1 that is 1 so therefore we could get only one value for the magnetic number for the s subshell and that is basically it is 0 this indicates that the s has only one orbital and each orbital consists of two electrons so this was regarding s subshell and now let me talk about the other three so now let's talk about the p subshell so here we are talking about the orbitals that would be present in the p subshell so here we'll get to know that is since the azimuthal number for the p is basically found to be one so therefore we could find that is the magnetic quantum number that is m which has a formula that is 2l plus 1 so in this case it has been found to be 2 into 1 because the value of l is 1 2 into 1 plus 1 it is found to be 3 that means there are will be three values there will be three values and the three values are nothing but the first one will be 0 the another one will be plus 1 and the another will be minus 1 so therefore there are three orbitals in p subshell and each orbital consists of two electrons so here one two three three orbitals and each can occupy two electrons so overall there would be six electrons that could be occupied by the p subshell and this is the one where we have got to know about the three orbitals present in the p subshell but so this three orbitals have a specific designation that is this one is called as pz orbital this is py orbital and this is pz orbital so therefore this is how basically they are designated and now let me talk about the other orbital the next is for d subshell so for that the azimuthal quantum number for d is d subshell it has been found to be 2 so therefore the magnetic number it would be found to be 2l plus 1 that is 2 into 2 plus 1 which is found to be 5 so therefore we could find that is there would be 5 values and the 5 values it will be 0 plus 1 plus 2 minus 1 and minus 2 so therefore there are 5 magnetic quantum number so here basically we could find 5 orbitals 1 2 3 4 5 and as we have discussed that is one orbital can occupy two electrons so here basically even this d subshell has different orbitals and different orbitals have different representation so we can represent it in different manner for example here this one it could be represented as d x y this one would be represented as d y z this one would be represented as d zx or xz and this one would be represented by d x square minus y square and this one could be represented as d z square so therefore this all are the representation of this orbitals for d and now let me talk about the last one that is for f orbital that is for f subshell so for the f subshell we have got to know that is the azimuthal quantum number that is l it has been found to be 3 so therefore we can easily calculate the magnetic quantum number which is nothing but 2l plus 1 so in this case we could get that is 2 into 3 that is 6 plus 1 that is 7 so we could get 7 
different values and the seven different values are that is the permissible values here is 0 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 minus 1 minus 2 and minus 3 so therefore there are seven orbitals that is what we could get 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 so here also basically we could find seven different orbitals and each orbital have a different representation so here basically this one could be represented as f x cube this one would be f y cube this one would be f z cube this one would be f x y z this one would be f x square minus y square f y square minus z square and this last one will be f z square or f x square minus z square so this all are nothing but the concept related to the shell subshell and orbitals and that's it so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood this concept very clearly and i hope i'll see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe channel. thank you so much